<sighs> hey everybody, Ann here. It's dark because I've got the drapes drawn. I got the air conditioner on. Um, I went to Tractor Supply Company this morning and filled up my two propane tanks. Then I got some ice. Um, so I've got everything I need for the next week, well, until at least Saturday night. Um, the heat indexes are going to be up 112, 115 degrees. So, uh, yeah, I'll be going through propane like crazy. Um, so I'm just in here taking a break. I got the entire garden watered, which is great. Um, I took the tank out of the furthest one on the non-garden side of the tiny house, um, the one that has uh, like a bunch of algae in it. Um, so I've almost drained that. I mean, there may be five gallons left in there. So it takes about 70 gallons to water my entire garden, 70, 75. So I did that. It was great. I just hooked a hose up to it. The hose wasn't long enough, so I just, I got buckets and I would just keep uh, putting the, the hose in a bucket and um, filling it up and then taking the bucket and watering. And oh, I got everything watered though, so... Phew, I'm feeling blessed, but I'm feeling I'm feeling more blessed than I do cursed um, because this is extreme. This is extreme heat, and um, but thank God I've got the air conditioner. Thank God I've got the generator. Thank God I've got solar. I've got water at least for a couple more days. Um, now I won't water tomorrow because I watered them pretty deep today, and I can't water my plants every single day. So I don't know what else I'm going to get done today aside from just stay cool. Since there's nothing going on, uh, I'm just staying inside and staying cool because I got all my chores done. Um, I am going to try out that stuff that I had been fermenting. It's day five, and things are looking pretty good. It's been bubbling away. I've been checking to make sure that, um, well, there's this jar and another jar, I'll show you in a second, that all the stuff stays down below the surface. So I'm gonna try one of these and see if it's good. Oh, I hope it's good. I hope there's not a bunch of scum over the top of it. Let me see. Oh, this looks good. Look at that. It smells absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna take a small one. Mmm. Oh, this smells so good. See? That's what it looks like. Mmm. They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Oh, so good. I'm going to push these down again. Mmm. The brine tastes delicious, too. Oh, my gosh. These... I can just eat them just like this. I could crush them up and put them in a like a stew or something or make a soup. Mm. I'm going to let them go for another day and I'm going to test another one. And as soon as they're, I, I like things tangy, as soon as they're kind of uh, more tangier, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slow down the um, fermentation and put it in my ice chest. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And, um, you know, just take that lid off, put a regular lid on it, and just put it in the ice chest to kind of slow down the fermentation. Now, um, I'm not going to can these because if you can them under heat or pressure, it gets rid of all the probiotics, and that's why we ferment food because um, there's all kinds of good pro probiotics and minerals and vitamins and stuff that are there that wouldn't be there unless you had fermented the food. So, yes, definitely a success. What I'll do, again, is um, I, will, I will make a video of me fermenting these kinds of foods and I'll show you the exact recipe that I used because this is absolutely delicious. Okay, let me go get the other jar. Here's the other jar. It's the summer squash that I put a bunch of other stuff in there with it. So I'm going to open it up very carefully because remember, I put this little plastic baggie on top. Um, so I'm going to set this down and see what it looks like inside. Here's what it looks like. And I would have thought it would have been all soggy. Oops. Mm, oh, delicious. All soggy and gross. It's not. It's not mushy. Mmm. Mmm. 
crunchy. Oh my gosh. This jar is done. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to um, put a regular lid on it and I'm going to put it in my ice chest to keep this. Oh my gosh. Very delicious. It tastes like a yummy pickle. Um, I put some onions and garlic and uh, dried herbs, fresh herbs down in there too. Um, uh, you could put it on a salad. You could put it in a soup. I don't feel like soup right now because it's too hot. So I'll just eat it raw. I'll probably make it as a side dish when I make a sandwich or something. Or I can put it on a sandwich. Yes! I'm going to do that today. I'm going to have a hmm, a bacon, wild lettuce, tomato, and um, I don't know what to call this. It's just basically fermented summer squash. And I'm going to do this again and again and again because it's a great way to preserve it. Um, some people just keep it in cold storage. Um, me, there's no cold storage right now, so I'll have to keep it um, refrigerated so that it doesn't keep fermenting. Um, oh, I've got one more thing that I want to show you. See that? That's going in the frigidator. Yes, it is. And it's going to be eaten up fast. I can tell you right now, it is so delicious. So, uh, day before yesterday, I started this. Now, I didn't, here's what I did. Um, I used, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that yellow, little yellow thing on top there? That's a better. That is a piece of summer squash, so that is what I've used to hold down the uh, vegetables underneath the brine. And I basically used the same brine, but the recipe is a little bit different. So I don't know how well this is going to turn out. Um, so I'm not going to do the recipe or do a video until this is done fermenting. It's only been going, I think this is the second day, and um, I don't have an airlock because it's a... It's not a wide mouth jar, so what I do every day is I just take it and burp it just a little bit. I put this on kind of um, kind of loose, and you can see, can you see it bubbling? Can you? Yeah, it's bubbling. Um, and then I just check to make sure there's still enough brine in there. And here, let me show you. I took a clip yesterday of what it looked like from the top. Um, after I put the thing on. Yep, I just used a little piece of summer squash down in there. Can you see that? It's perfect. And here's what it looks like now. It's keeping all the veggies underneath the brine. So that is just a piece of yellow summer squash that I cut to fit right down in there. So that's perfect. Mmm, that smells so gosh darn good, you guys. It really does. So this has a few more days to go. It's just started. Um, and in here, well, just some chopped tomatoes. There's chopped jalapenos. I picked a bunch of jalapenos the other day, so I chopped them all up. There's some chopped onions, some chopped garlic, um, cilantro, cumin, um, all that good stuff. So I don't know if this is going to turn out. If it does turn out good, then I will definitely do a cooking video to show you the recipe. <laughs> it's awesome. And what I do, too, is I just make a little tray out of some foil um, because sometimes when it gets to bubbling really good it comes out at the side of the can and I don't want it dripping all over the place so I just kind of make a little tray with that and I put it in the darkest coolest part of my pantry so it's got a few more days to go I can't wait I hope I hope I hope it turns out good because if it turns out good then this is the way I'm gonna make my salsa um, and I don't know if I'll can it or not, because once again, if you ferment something, the, the reason why you ferment it is not only for flavor, but for the extra nutrition that you're going to get. And if I can it for long, long term shelf storage, um, it's going to kill all those microbes and beneficial organisms in there and everything. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But it looks absolutely delicious. So we'll see if that tastes good. So far, the first two things that I did t tasted great, so I will do a fermenting video on those and the recipe and the method that I used. Well, I think I'm going to go out and check the baby chicks, make sure they're doing okay in the back of the van. Um, I had to put a little fan back there to keep the air circulating for them because they're kind of getting fluffed up, you know, they're lifting their wings, trying to stay cool, 
got to check the rabbits, make sure they've got plenty of fresh, cool water. Um, because this this heat just takes its toll on the animals as well. Papa's fine so long as he's inside in air conditioning. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.